It's the seventh and final stop of the 2014 Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series, and we're in Yucatan, Mexico. Before the action begins, the divers are blessed at a traditional mine ceremony to wish them a safe competition. The dramatic Ikil Cenote is the location for the grand finale and the race for the top five divers to pre-qualify for next year's series is in full effect. For one last time, the athletes show their amazing skills in a nail-biting competition. David Kulturi places third and secures a permanent spot on the 2015 World Series just managing to sneak in front of Jonathan Paredes. Everything disappears. Up on the platform, it's me and the cenote, and I was just thinking calm and tall. I actually had a really good top. I was happy with the dive, just left it a little bit short. Thankfully, I, I did three other really, really good dives. I ended up on the podium, and I got that fifth place overall, so this is where I wanted to be. The Russian powerhouse, Artem Silchenko, takes second place with his trademark arm stand dive. And none other than the dominant diver of this season, Gary Hunt nails his infamous triple quad for the fourth win of the season. And to put the icing on the cake, he of course has the overall series championship win. It's a, an amazing feeling. Um, I've been here a few times uh, winning before the final and then having to, to, to come second on the, on the final day, but um, to, to have a win here and, and secure the title is such a good feeling. Um, I, uh, my, my legs are shaking. He lays down his legacy as a four times World Series champion, but we salute all of the athletes who are also true innovators of the sport and whom have helped with the overall progression of the dives we now see today. We can't wait to see what they have in store for us during the 2015 season of the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. So be ready for the first tour stop in April.